for the last half hour. So they need to know where they're facing and where they're going before they jump out the back there. They're just checking everything's all okay before they exit the vehicle. Now don't forget, the ones in the 432, these are our volunteers before they go forward. These are the volunteers that are going to be doing the attacking. And now we can see them come out the side of the vehicle. There they are. Now the section commander is going to bring them forward. And what they're going to be doing is something that the army calls a pepper pot attack. Um, you've probably heard that phrase sometimes used in media about friendly fire, where one side kills sides of its own side. The most unfriendly fire going is, is uh, being shot by your own bloke, so it's not the wrong word to use. So the army trains very carefully to make sure that you never get in front of your own side. That's what's going on here. A section is running forward at a time, keeping power dropping down and then the other section comes forward and drops down again. So here they come. These are our trainees there. Second section is coming up as they move forward. They've got the rules they use in their sides now. The teacher's training probably needed by one or two of them, but don't forget we had improvement. Right, all right, but they're, they're not lacking in courage at all. They're charging the roof. Oh, pathetic. We're It's given up the ghost already. And we thought we were going to see a bloodbath. Well done, our volunteers. Well done. Right, let's get our volunteers back up on the mound then. Well done. Now, just so you know, it takes the British Army about six weeks to do the basic infantry training. So our volunteers there, we picked them out, so we recruited them in the museum a little bit earlier on. They had about half an hour of training. Um, in how to do a section attack. So I think they've actually done rather well doing that. And uh, also you'll be pleased to see Union Jack going black up the flag hole so uh, we'll all be able to see safely in our beds tonight. Give a round of applause. They've done very well for doing that. Well done our volunteers there. Well done. Now, what we're going to do for you now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to clear the tanks off the field. The uh, rural tankers will be taken into custody. Our ride vehicle will be starting again from the far corner in about 10 minutes time and that will be running until about 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you've got your tickets, please just show those as you go back in the museum. You're welcome to come in and out throughout the day. And please also don't forget, whoever signed that gift aid form, you can bring that many people back whenever you want to come back here in the next year. So basically you've got a year's membership of the Tank Museum, so do make the most of that to so come back in for free. Um, you've been blessed by the weather today. We really hope you do enjoy your day here at Bobbington. Enjoy the rest of your half-term holiday. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.